Hey everyone, Mike here today. I have some thoughts here on a game called Solitarica. This game was free at some point through the Epic Game Store uh, as part of their weekly giveaways. Uh, however, this game is available on Steam for about $10. And I believe at least for Android, I don't know for iOS, but it is available for Android for free, though you have to pay to get the decks unlocked. Anyways, as the name kind of implies, this is kind of a solitaire-like game. Uh, I've played three or four rounds so far. I feel pretty confident talking about the game, kind of showing it off a little bit. Um, but as you can see, there are different decks with, you know, different focuses, I guess, on what they give you in terms of powers and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, since I've done like three or four runs so far, I can buy an upgrade here and you'll see what all of this stuff does in just a moment. So this is solitaire-like in terms of structure, sort of. Um, yeah, they use it as kind of a way to do this sort of card battler, if you will. And here we go. So. Like I said, this, I believe this might have been a mobile game at first. Either way, being a mobile game, uh, not a huge problem. But as you can see here, we've got a deck of cards. we got our, our drawn card at the bottom. And then along the top, we've got cards that we can play against. So basically, the card you have in hand at the moment, you can either go up or down one. Uh, so in this case, we can go seven. I can go back to 6 if I wanted, but there's also 8 and 9. So your objective is to try and clear as much, clear all the cards as quickly as possible uh, before the enemy attacks and hurts you too much. So you're always kind of trying to go for that. Now you see each of these cards have certain colors. They all have different attributes. So for example, the ace here, this is just going to give me money, which we can use to buy items between rounds. So we'll go ahead and flip that. Uh, and then the other colors are all different things that are filling meters in the bottom right corner. Uh, so I could... actually I should have probably done ace, king, and queen, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I would have been able to clear a few more cards. So depending what color there is, other than the coins, the other colors are all, you know, might Defense, Agility, and Perception, I think. I don't remember the exact wording. Uh, they allow you to use different abilities on the left. So, I'm just going to clear these out. Alright. So, we're, we've got a couple options here. So, I can restore one of the hearts and heal myself up. May as well do it. I can see what's going to be next, which is a king. Uh, which means I can do Queen, King, Queen, so I can get those out. Uh, so, armor up. And then my top attack here is actually to damage one of the cards. Oh, okay. Changes it to defense. That's fine. Uh, well, I have an attack, so I want to go down to Jack and Ten, and then attack the King, and take it out. There you go. And that's that's the first round. Um, so it is kind of a roguelite style game to a certain extent. Basically it's a run-based game. Uh, as you can see, we've got 18 battles to complete if we want to get to the end boss. Uh, but you're probably not going to get there in one try. And so the upgrade I bought at the very beginning for my deck will kind of help me get there uh, to a certain extent. So between rounds you can buy uh, various abilities or spells and you can also buy items. Uh, so the extra two hearts is always handy. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And I can't spend any of my money but that's fine. Um, so you can carry two extra spells and there's two locked away items. So there's a potential to have six uh, item slots as well. 
So anyways, uh, so far, other than the first one, which has changed, each of these uh, characters or bosses or whatever, each of these stages have been the same. Uh, each of these stages will have very specific, you know, styles that you'll have to figure out uh, what how to deal with. And yeah, it's a pretty straightforward game. You know, you definitely get in a situation like, again, nothing can play here. Uh, again, nothing can play. Oh boy, <laughs> so once again, no moves. Uh, so the game, one of the things that is a bit nice with the game is, ah, there you go, that's the upgrade I purchased. Uh, so one of the, the nice little things is, if I were to click and flip a card over, it'll shake the number two and say, hey, you could have actually played that. Um, which, nice little touch. Especially if you play really fast. You're not paying too much attention. Uh, it could definitely be handy to have that little like that little nudge just to let you know, like, hey, you kind of screwed up here. So, uh, bearded. If I use the the damage, so if I were to normally uh, pick this card, I'll take it out. But if I were to use the sword there, uh, I would not damage it. At least that's what I noticed last time. Um, in terms of effect, I, there is a glossary somewhere. Anyways. Uh, so it's a five coming up next. Let's go ahead and take out the eight, see if we can get something going. Not really. Uh, the plan here. This 9 is going to randomize, so I know it's a 5 coming in. So we could potentially land something good. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the 2 again. Now that's kind of okay, but the 9 is going to go away, unfortunately. But still, I can get a 10 and a jack one after another, so I'm okay. Oh, well, there you go. If only I can get a 6, right? Or a 7, rather. I would have been able to do a decent combo. The seven I would have liked to have. Uh, so Jack, ten, no nine, but that's okay. No point revealing the card because it's not like I can do anything with it. Uh, so I can do a nine, eight, seven, and no point wiping out of the any of these cards just yet. Depending where I land in this sequence, uh, I can go one direction, but maybe not the other. And so taking out a card is always handy. Uh, in this case, this is perfect because I can go down to a 10 and do them all sequentially. Oh, I'm perfect. We got an ace as well. I've actually got six, so I can take both of these out. Get the win that way. Um, so I tend to play a lot, quite a bit faster, maybe not, uh, I tend to play a bit faster. The next stage is the one where I often, almost every time I've, well, I've done four runs, right? So every run I've done so far, I've definitely done a few mistakes of like, hey, you could have played something, because uh, I'm just clicking through rather quickly. Uh, so for the sake of this video, I'm slowing down a little bit, which it's actually kind of helpful. Um, like I said, it is a mobile game. So... I could definitely see it working as that. Um, so this is a... This one's kind of handy, splitting the longest column into two. Uh, take two damage, that's rough. The heal there is by far and away the best thing you can get. Because uh, I'll often ditch the heal one for two. In terms of efficiency, it just makes a lot more sense. So yeah, the further you get, 
you get another different currency, and this is where the mobile version might be a little bit different or not. Um, I'm not sure. I didn't bother downloading it on mobile, but yeah, if you just have to pay to unlock different decks, that's fine, I suppose. And then you can, as you get further and further, they give you a a different currency you can use to buy an in-game currency to buy the. Uh, oh boy. We can bank on potentially getting a 9. Uh, what a... Oh no, I wouldn't have... Oh, see. See, I did, that's the mistake I normally do. I don't pay, <laughs> I don't pay super close attention. Uh, and I could have played that. Uh, so I'm actually going to go back down because of that 5. And... Yeah, I can't play anything here. Uh, so yeah, the, the deck upgrades, so as you get further and further, when you, you inevitably get wiped out, at least in the beginning, uh, you could get those deck upgrades, which seem to be potentially necessary to get to the end. I'm not too sure. Because like that's... Yeah, getting getting extra energy when that car gets flipped over. It's really handy. That's gonna go. Then we can do the king. Oh damn. So there's also a streak bonus. If you get enough cards in a row, you start uh, a streak of sorts, which gives you extra coins, which you can allow you to buy extra stuff. So we're going to armor up. Um, okay, so that means the five, four, three, two. Uh, we'll take out the eight. Perfect. Excellent. That's that's a good combo. Uh, I will. May as well armor up. Certain enemies have different effects, so later on there's one that melts armor, so armoring up is not always the best idea, you know, doing it just for the sake of doing it. Um, so we can go down to three, two, uh, I could do the ace, but... Uh, do I want to do the six? Because if there's a seven behind there... No. No seven. Because yeah, a seven would be nice. So th this, like, as you can probably s figure out, this is a bit of a special level. All the cards give you coins, and your opponent will potentially give you energy to help you out, or... Uh, yeah, he'll give you energy to help you out. Or... oh boy. I have no reason to wipe any of these cards out yet. Uh, or he'll change one of the cards to a certain type. Which is... Basically this level makes it, you know, kinda... Kinda potentially long, potentially dangerous. Depending what you have to deal with. Uh, so again, I want to see two. Okay, so that means the seven. Seven's not going to get used yet. But that's okay. So we're going to heal up, armor up. No reason not to. Uh, and we get our combo there. Seven, eight. Uh, okay. Well, may as well keep flipping a few more cards. Uh, so we'll do one more. Then give you an idea of what some of the other for the following level looks like I suppose and yeah there we go so no real music in the game which I guess that's fine if you're you know this is the kind of game you can play while either watching or doing other things right so it's not a huge problem. Again, it's being, it's a mobile game, so generally if you're playing this 
<laughs> back in the days where you would commonly go on public transit, um, you know, it makes sense. Most people don't tend to play. Well, actually, I don't know. Uh, block the stun. More energy. So I don't like that card. This is very useful for a later, later level. And you know what? Let's give that one a go. Randomizing the cards might be handy. Whoop. Right. Forgot to take that out. Normally I go in and manage my stuff ahead of time. Uh, great. So yeah, this character starts bringing in a bit, couple more mechanics, so stunning your abilities, which can be a little bit of a problem, and then getting cards to randomly transform as well can be a little tough, but not impossible to deal with. It just makes planning moves a little bit more difficult. Sometimes it can work into your favor forward to be able to string those together. Um, so let's go for a four. I'm gonna go for a five so I can get the attack. Uh, and we got lucky here with a six. <laughs> hey, we got a real good streak there. Uh, and I can't use abilities. So this is where the the stunning can get useful. Right, I can stop him from applying other effects to some of my cards by basically delaying a turn. And yeah. Do I want It's no use taking out that ace. I'm just sitting here de deciding whether or not I want to take out. I've got enough attack to do it. Uh, I'll keep my other attack. <laughs> um. Okay. I was about to skip, but I remembered the king and the ace. It loops around at that point, so. So he, he likes to make stuff become willpower, so I'll take my attack, even though, you know, hitting that one would be more logical potentially, but you can also do that and get it back. Hey, we got another play out of it. Oh, that's unfortunate. If I still had the ace, I could have gone the other way, but it is what it is. Um, yeah. I guess we'll just go ahead and play. Four, three, two. Uh, uh, so I could randomly shuffle all the front cards now, but looking at this, I've got a nice, nice arrangement. Um, I'm going to get the tens out, so 9, 10, jack, 10, and ace, I'm fishing for a 9, no 9. Might as well stun him. 
Might as well heal up too while I'm at it. Ugh. So yeah, the, the end of the round like this can get a little rough too if you don't have the right cards or whatever. It is very much a game of luck at this point. Uh, generally, it's not too brutal, generally. Um, so here I'm, I'm going to bet on an ace or a, a jack. Or a king and queen actually would work. Uh, this is where... <sighs> Turn it. Okay, we're gonna stun. I have to attack this one. I have no choice. Ah, uh, and that's the end of the run. Oh well. It is what it is. And that's the point of this, right? That's the point of getting you to replay a bit more. And so this is the other currency you get. At least on the PC version, I imagine the mobile one should be similar. Where the more you play, the more, you know, the further you get to, the more reward you get. Uh, and that's what you use to buy uh, either, well, on the PC, new decks or deck upgrades. And also bumping the item slots can be pretty handy. Um, but yeah, that is Solitarica on PC. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.